feeling state all the time. And that that our emotional response to things is, has one of the biggest. So we, we, we hear about cortisol, right? We hear about the negative effects of cortisol. We, you know, we hear about it, adrenal fatigue. Yeah. You hear about that constantly. Well, that's our emotional response to situations is that we it's perceived threat most of the time. Very, very. And cortisol and, and adrenaline, by the way, are fantastic because in real threat, all right, that they are exactly what we need, but they're for a short term, they give us the energy and the focus that we require to deal with a situation. The biggest, and what used to happen was real threat, so trauma or, or infection used, used to be the biggest impactor on human health. It's not anymore. Perceived threat is. So our perception of threat. So, you know, the medical terms for remembered threat is depression and imagine threats, anxiety. And what happens is that we're starting to see all the me- these things that we call mental health, right? Which is kind of emotional health, to be honest with you, is, is that the impacts of, of you know, excreting adrenaline all the time because we perceive threat or we remember threat or cortisol that starts to break our body down. Yeah, so we need to understand that's the bad news again. Sorry, Brendan, again, I, I give the bad, but there's a good news to this. Okay, is that if if you can imagine or remember great things, things like oxytocin and serotonin are then excreted in our body, and these things, you know, enhance our digestive system. Okay, they they help our liver function. But they 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 again have an impact on our, our ability and our clarity of thinking over over a sustained period. If this culture clip helped you, hit that like button below and we'll see you in the next clip.